Folks, today we're going to tell you how to uh, install uTorrent. It's a BitTorrent program. First, uh, you're going to have to get it. So go to your uh, default uh, internet browser. Okay. I think one of the easiest ways to download this is just type in uTorrent. Don't actually click the main link, just click the download link. Kind of shortcut you in there. Of course, you need to save it. Pick a spot that you would normally save it. And go ahead and stick it in there. Okay. Now I want to open it. Okay, it's going to ask me what I like to install this application or where I would like to install it, where all the shortcuts need to go. I'm just going to go ahead and click next. All right, this is your first uh, main setup screen. Alright, what you're going to want to do here is set it up according to your speeds. Best thing to do here, I like to go to uh, set of DSL reports. I like to use speakeasy.com and uh, we'll go to that. Okay. Okay, now choose the one that's closest to you. Uh, for me, it happens to be Georgia. It's going to test your download speed first, and then it's going to test your upload. So basically, once you get this done, you know how fast you're downloading and, and uploading. Yeah, I know that sucks, but this is Hicktown, so... Um, Basically, once you have that information, you just kind of plug it in. All right, you download roughly three megs. You're going to put it in here. This is just going to kind of set it up so you have minimum upload speeds and, and downloads and upload limits and all that. But you can change that at any time. Basically, the main thing you want to do is make sure that you have a properly forwarded port. And to do that, go ahead and use the default number that they give you and then just test that port. As long as it says you're okay, then you're fine. Basically, I mean that just so that you can listen in for the torrents and so on. And then uh, I go ahead and enable encryption. You can choose to do this at a later time if you want to. And then just use the select settings. Okay, basically that's that's it as far as in installing uTorrent and most. Uh, BitTorrent programs are, are exactly the same. So, um, um, one little thing while you're downloading, you can change your upload and download speeds by clicking down here. The D is the download. I usually do this unlimited. However, I am on a network. I share computers within my home with various users. So, during times I know that they're using the internet, I will back this down, you know, below one meg that way they have enough bandwidth and uh, to go ahead and do whatever they need to do same thing on the upload you don't want to upload your Macs because uh, you won't be able to surf the internet or do anything else while, while you're downloading um, I usually keep this a little lower to be honest with you uh, anywhere from 10 to, to, to 100 you know if you've, you've got the the bandwidth go ahead and give it to them but uh, that's for basically when you're seeing the file, and this is when you're when you're downloading the file. Okay, so that's it as far as setting up uTorrent.